step one is to engage the zero stop. You need to take the elevation turret and turn it in the downward direction until it stops hard, like that. Step two is to remove the outer elevation turret cover. And you'll need to do that by undoing each of the three set screws on that cover. I don't back them completely out because I don't want to lose the small screws. Just back them out most of the way. I pull the elevation turret cover off. There might be a little bit of resistance on the way up and that is normal because this rifle scope has an O-ring seal. Step three is to disengage the zero stop in the clicker mechanism. And you do that by loosening each of the three set screws on the side of the turret. Again, you don't need to remove them completely, just need to loosen them. With the clicker disengaged, you can now fine tune your elevation to a point between clicks. Step four is to sight in your rifle at the range. To do this, you'll need to fire the rifle and make adjustments to the elevation and windage until you're confident with your zero. This is the Gen 2 Viper PST. With a variety of models to suit any shooter's needs, the Viper PST series is revamped with upgraded features from top to bottom, taking its incredible performance and rock-solid tactical features to new heights. Shooters who like to dial their turrets for a bullet drop and wind compensation will appreciate the Gen 2 PST's exposed laser-etched turrets and adjustable parallax, as well as a patented RZR zero stop, ensuring accurate returns to zero. The fiber optic turret rotation indicator assures you can keep track of your turret position with ease. The 5x zoom range provides a wide variety of magnification options for either short or long range scenarios. Select models are available with first or second focal plane reticles depending on the model. The Gen 2 PST 1-6x24 is incredibly versatile and ideal for close quarters to medium range engagements. A true one power on its low end provides reflex sight functionality. Increase the magnification to precisely execute shots at greater distances. Fixed parallax, low profile, cap turrets, and an incredibly functional second focal plane reticle round out the unique features of this impressive optic. All models feature a 30mm anodized aircraft grade aluminum tube. A cleanly integrated illumination dial features 10 levels of brightness with off positions between each setting. With high definition glass enhanced with T-Star light transmission coatings, you will see a 90% light transmission to the eye, making these scopes perform extremely well in low light conditions, especially useful when game is most active. All 2018 models are second focal plane, which means your subtension reticle will stay the same size and is less distracting throughout the magnification range. The higher magnification units have exposed elevation turrets and capped windage, with 80 minutes of adjustment for elevation, as well as a ballistic stop with metal to metal hard stop when you go back to zero, you can get multiple revolutions out of your elevation and be confident when you're back to zero. When dialing elevation like this, precision and repeatability is key. This means if I'm shooting at 500 yards and I need to move up five inches to get on target, one minute or four clicks with this quarter MOA adjustment should give me the five inches I need Measuring this movement at this distance lets you know just how precise these scopes are. My test model here is a 6x24x50. It has a ZMOA1 reticle and is illuminated, and it has 10 different brightness levels of illumination. The hash marks in this reticle represent one MOA spacing at the pre-established power magnification settings, which is helpful for long-range shooting and hunting. Each scope in the series offers a vast array of reticles. This is a system that works very well if you have a wind meter or a way to reference and determine the wind. These markers can absolutely aid you in making the proper shot placement, whether it's a target or an animal. Now, all the reticles will visually appear identical. You cannot tell any difference because the design is the same, but 
whether you have a slower model or a faster model, the lines will either be closer together or further apart. They've figured this out by running ballistic profiles of the most popular long range cartridges today, and we know it works well. If you have any further questions, feel free to call a tech rep at Night Force or go to nightforceoptics.com. <laughs>